Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup collection slash organization video. In this video, I'm just going to show you kind of how I have everything broken down and just stick to organization. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit of everything, a little bit of what I have in each drawer, but try not to go into too much detail with you. I do want to put a video up or do like a small series on my channel where I discuss each individual product, but I'm not going to do that today. Today, I'm just going to show you the organization. If you watched my last video back here on YouTube, which was my update video, I did kind of break down the new setup with you, so you kind of have an idea of what this video is going to be about, but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail with you today. I do apologize for the length of this video. I tried to shorten it as much as possible, but I could not get it down any farther. Um, this footage is actually pre-recorded, and so I've edited already, and it's already about 20 minutes long. So just bear with me. I do hope that you'll enjoy this video and you'll subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel. And I hope to see you back here next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Okay. Um, what I'll do first is I'll show you uh, what's on my desk, what's in the desk, and then we'll move on to the drawers that are on the right side of the desk. So, okay, so this is what the desk looks like. It's actually just a writing desk that we found at a flea market. And um, the stain and color was already like that. We didn't change anything. Um, we actually got the chair from, not the flea market, the antique, like an antique store. Um, we actually got the chair from there as well. And all we did was spray paint that white and put down uh, new upholstery on the seat. Um, starting on the very right side of the desk, you will see a candle and some flowers. <laughs> Those flowers are from TJ Maxx, and I bought them because they were white, and I wanted to incorporate a lot of white into my background of my video. Those are my favorite kinds of backgrounds on YouTube, so I wanted to put as much white in there as I could. We also painted the wall a white color. Um, the lighting is not like the best in the room that I would prefer it to be, so it doesn't look just really stark white on camera. It looks maybe a little beige or something. I can't really tell from the viewfinder, but that is supposed to be a white wall. So um, next to that, uh, the flowers that is, next to the flowers are three cups of brushes. The cup that says Mrs. is obviously a coffee cup. <laughs> I think I found that at TJ Maxx as well, and I thought it was really cute. I bought uh, both one that says Mr. and one that says Mrs. Um, because I thought if I didn't use it as a brush holder, I wanted to be able to put it in the cabinet, and I wanted it to have, like match something. I didn't want to just be there randomly. So I got both of them, <laughs> but that is what I use for brushes there. Um, and then, of course, the two cups next to it are brushes as well. I'll kind of break down what I've got going on there. Um, the two cups on the right side are going to be the fluffiest brushes and face brushes. And then the last cup on the left, um, is going to be just eye brushes. That's how I have that broken down. Then I have a lipstick tower. Um, I was watching a Jaclyn Hill video where she had the, uh, lipstick tower. I think it was by Zara. And I looked at the price for that one, and it was like $100. So I put off buying that one, and I found this one on Amazon instead. And it's not as nice as the one that she had, because hers was like solid white, I believe. This one is just acrylic, and you can kind of see through it. And I think that it makes the lipsticks a little bit less appealing compared to the way that hers looked in her case. But it definitely does the job, and I still like it. It spins, and I think it's very appealing to the eye. So I'm still happy with it. And I think it was like $20 or $25. It may have even been $15-ish or something like that. <laughs> but that's actually all of the lipsticks that I own. It was, um, I did actually have to do a lipstick clutter and a lip clutter because I had so many lip products and they, they were products that I wasn't even looking at or thinking about. Some of them I probably forgot that I owned. So I got rid of a lot of lip colors and that is all that I have left of my lipsticks. So, the last thing on the desk is at the very far left, and it's just a mirror and a drawer set. I found the drawer set at TJ Maxx as well, and I really liked it because, like I said, it's white, and it matches, like, a white theme. I don't have a white theme throughout my house, so even though I try to buy white products, they don't match the rest of my house. But I did try to do, go with a white theme for my background, so that's why I have the white drawers. And like I said, those will just be for like basic products, go-to products, things like that. Um, either for everyday makeup or for videos. Okay, and then uh, moving away from the desk, 
on the right side of the desk, you see a tower <laughs> of drawers. Those are all individual drawers that I purchased at Walmart. I do believe they were either seven or nine dollars a piece. So the more you buy, the more pricey it gets. But I do believe that for just the one drawer, it's very affordable. Um, up top, I have all but maybe four palettes that I own. Those are eyeshadow palettes. Um, I wanted to display like the most well-known ones up front, so that's why you see the Juvia's Place uh, up front, and then right behind that, you can't tell what it is, but it's the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I wanted to be able to display that one in the front, but the Juvia's Place was actually a little bit smaller, and it made more sense to just put that in the front. Behind that, I have Morphe palettes, which I only own three, and then in front of those, I have some lipsticks. I bought that set, like that acrylic lipstick holder for my um, more everyday go-to makeup stash that I had in a separate room. I wanted to be able to put all of my makeup on my dresser, but that didn't work out either. <laughs> um, but that's what that purchase was for, and that's why those lipsticks are separated and they're there, um, because I wanted to kind of use my everyday lipsticks, have those in a separate place. So I just put those on top of my drawers for now. And in the very front, I have a Marc Jacobs lipstick that was one of the Sephora birthday gifts. Inside of those drawers, I have like plastic containers, as you can tell. Those are also purchased at Walmart. They're very, very affordable. Um, they're purchased in the kitchen section. I think they are more so uh, organization for kitchen drawers, but they work really, really well for makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out. This is as, this is as far as my camera zooms, and I'm not gonna like try really hard to make this fancy. So you see my umbrella light right there to the right of the camera. Um, I can't zoom out all the way, but I will just kind of tilt the camera forward so that you can or raise it or whatever, so that you or maybe just scoot back. So that's the entire tower. It reaches the floor. The only thing I don't like about this setup is that. My, make, my makeup down there, which is my lip products, literally just sits in the floor. So if I want to get down there to get something, I have to pretty much get into the floor to get it. So let's get into this. So I want to go through um, what's on top of here first. Quickly, I did say that this is going to be a quick overview video, not an in-depth video, but I really can't help myself. Um, okay, so back here are the eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to tell you what these are, what they look like. I have three Morphe palettes. They are stored in this right here. Um, I had never considered this before, but this is actually just a napkin holder. And they work great for these. I've been on the hunt for something to hold my palettes like this for so long. And I don't know why I never considered napkin holders, but they work really well. These are just from the Dollar Tree. So they are a dollar. <laughs> um, they're very cheap, very plastic, like very cheap plastic. Um, but they hold three of these really well. Um, and they actually only hold three... Of the cardboard ones as well so you might only be able to get three in there at a time but depending on how many you have um, or you could do like I didn't just stack them in front of each other I really like that look as well um, but these are just three Morphe palettes I'm not gonna go into detail with um, these because like I said I want to keep this video short but I will tell you what these are they are the 35R, 35W, and the 350. So next I have the three palettes that were in front of that and I'll show you the side of this so that you can see how well these fit in here. There's not enough space in there to put another one in. So this it, <laughs> this is Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, Jaclyn Hill Palette, and this is a, a kind of like a Morphe Z palette. Okay, and then in the very front I have lipsticks. So these right here I believe are all Maybelline. Yeah, yeah. that, yeah. Um, the three in the back, the three in the front, they're all Maybelline. These here are LA Colors that I purchased from Dollar Tree, but I really loved the formula of those, and I bought several different colors to try them all out. And like I said, in the front, I just have a Marc Jacobs lipstick that came to me from, like, the Sephora birthday gift. This is a very tall um, tower, so I'm having to hold this camera almost above my head to show you, like, a bird's eye view. Okay, so I can't pull these drawers all the way out necessarily and just leave them there because they probably will fall. But, let's see, I want to show you what's in them, kind of how I have this set up. And you'll be able to get a better idea when I get farther down the drawers and you can, and I can hold the camera into them a little bit better. Um, but these are the organizations that I have in this one. The white plastic things come in three different sizes. They come in this size this square size and they have a, a long big wide one as well face primers and 
the foundations are in the very far back. Oh, this is not easy. And then I have um, con oh, concealers too. I have concealers here. And then I have uh, some like overflow foundation and pretty much a lot of overflow right there. And then in the very front, I have just powders. And that's how I have those laid in there. Now we're going to go into the second drawer. It's hard to do this to the viewfinder. Okay, these are gonna be eyeshadows and this might fall out. Okay, these are gonna be eyeshadows. Now you can kind of see a better idea of what that basket looks like in the very back. These are some acrylic drawers that I had that I just wanted to use up in the space, which I actually tried to take all those out and redo those the other day, but I guess I left those in there. And in the very front, I have just a white holder with more little eyeshadow quads and stuff like that. Most of my singles are right here. And those are some more just drugstore palettes in the back. So that is that drawer. Okay, so now we're going to go into the third drawer, which is going to be more eyeshadow. This one is not quite filled up yet, thank goodness. And I do need to go back and kind of just organize this so that it's all laying next to each other, not all on top of each other. But right here I have some eyeshadow palettes. That's where I stored some of my palettes and the overflow just went on the bathroom counter. The overflow palettes are the ones that you see up top that I finally just purchased a holder to put them in. Okay, so these are mostly um, drugstore palettes, some, some larger drugstore palettes. Um, in the front, that Urban Decay right there, I actually received that with um, 500 reward points, I think, from Sephora, so I did not purchase that one. And in the front, I have some more little bitty shadow palettes. So that is the overview of that drawer. And then going into the fourth, yeah, the fourth drawer. Okay, these are like additional eye products that are not eyeshadows. So in the very back, I have one large basket with a lot of falsies in them. I started purchasing a lot of falsies and then I wasn't wearing them. So I've tried to purchase different styles and different brands and then I haven't really played around with them. That's why I have so many, but I actually don't use them. I also have an eyeshadow primer right there. And little sharper <laughs> okay so I don't love this jar being in here but I haven't taken it out yet so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that um, right here are just eyeliners a lot of eye stuff let's see these are like the jelly eyeliner things like eyeliner pots and then um, over here I have like pencils and stuff pencils and liquids and then in the front right here, I just have like a bunch of mascaras. Unfortunately, I have way too many and I don't need that many. And I hate, and they're all open. I hate that they're all open because they're probably all no good. But I usually just open one and try it out and then I don't like it and it gets tossed to the side. And so these are where all of the extras have gone. And let's see what that. Okay, so the next drawer. Okay, so I am missing ooh, a second organization tray to put here. I have made a middle note to purchase one, but when I was at Walmart last time, they did not have them. So it's sitting, it's not there. But these are going to be bronzers, and I don't have this drawer full, so I have some room to build. Um, those are the larger pieces in the back. These are the more smaller compacts, and then those are some more compacts, and those are just like some random pieces. That's, that's the collection so far. get in the floor so I'm gonna have to like you're not gonna be able to watch me open the other drawers okay so this is blush um, in the very back I have a large blush palette and there's more blushes in there an elf and a tart palette and you have like a physician's form of butter blush and then um, the front two drawers are like uh, just little compacts and stuff these are the weird ones like liquids and sticks and all that next to last is highlight I don't have a back drawer filled and the biggest pieces are in the back, then I have like compacts and stuff in the front here. So that is the entire overview of that drawer. And on the bottom, I have lip products. Lip products are something that I collect really, really easily. So I always have way more of these than I ever need. I finally downsized um, and I still had a ton left over, but this is the organization of what's left. So in the very far back corner, is liquid so in this very far corner are glosses this is liners these were color pops because I had a bunch of those and I, I really wanted to be able to organize by brand but I don't have enough of any one brand to do that with I did have a few color pops so I wanted to put those 
by themselves so they would look nice and pretty. And then in the very front I have my Glam Glow Scrub and Balm which I really do love. I don't use as often as I'd like. Um, like a random little lip scrub here and then these are just lip balms because I have an overflow of lip balms that I do not need and I just stuffed them in my lip drawer. So that's that one. So that's going to be everything in these drawers right here. Very proud of that. Um, I forgot to kind of go through this desk with you. I wanted to do that first, so I will do it now. Um, we're going to start with the lipsticks because I did want to kind of spin this around for you and show you what I have. So I have a lot of um, LA colors on top because I purchased a bunch of those. And I wanted to put a bunch of lipsticks up top that matched each other. So I have the LA colors on top. My random MAC. Okay, so then here you have all Wet n Wild. These are a couple more LA colors. Milani, some randoms. And then I have two that are completely empty. Moving on now to this white drawer. It has hardly anything in it. Some new makeup is in this one that I wanted to play around with. So I put it in here to remember to use it. Next, these are more of my actual everyday products that I use. So I have this Anastasia Brow Pomade that I use on my brows all the time. I've been combining it with the brow gel that I really like. My favorite mascara right now is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I purchased this one because everyone says that it was a dupe for the Better Than Sex. Um, I think I prefer the Too Faced Better simply because um, to me it's easier to remove. That is a Tarte face powder which I really love. Then this is an old BB cream I was trying to use up and this is the current lip balm that I'm trying to use up. And the third drawer was just extra stuff. So that is um, Tone Correcting Elf Powder by Elf and an eyelash curler. Moving on to these drawers here. There's absolutely nothing in the bottom two on either side, I believe. But I have stuffed some things in the top. Okay, yeah, as you can see. Some makeup wipes that I stole from my bathroom because I'm gonna need makeup wipes in here. And my makeup sponges. Let's see. In this middle drawer, I literally am going to keep, this one doesn't open very well. I'm just gonna keep uh, a lighter in there so that I can light my candle each time I sit down to film. <laughs> And moving on to this drawer, we have brushes and palettes. I purchased these brushes a little while back, like a long time ago, and I really wanted to do a video dedicated to these, and I never did it. And then I have some eyeshadow palettes. I got this for Christmas. This I got for my birthday. It's actually like a drugstore palette, but I really kind of want to do a video dedicated to it because it's an entire face palette. So you have your eyeshadows up top, lip glosses, uh, lip primer, eyeshadow primer, and then you have like highlight, contour, and blush. So I really wanted to do a video dedicated to the whole palette just because I thought it would be a cool way to try, it, try out the palette and a cool way to do your makeup. Um, next I have, I think that was a Christmas present from last year. It's just an elf, pal oops, an elf palette. It has lip I'm mean, sorry, it has eyeshadow on top and then blushes and contour bronzing powders and stuff on the bottom. And then on the very bottom I have just a really cheap, I, don't, I hate the word cheap now because it sounds offensive, but um, a really affordable palette. I believe that palette was five or six, seven or eight dollars. It was less than ten dollars, between five and ten dollars. And I thought the colors in it were really cool. And I actually purchased it from like one of those beauty kind of stores where they sell the wigs and the um, makeup and like a bunch of other random stuff. Um, I was enjoy shopping, enjoying shopping there for a while. So that's where I purchased that. And that's that. And there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. So that's it.